Okay. So now basically what we see is division of a number by 11. This is a bit complicated, not as easy as the other ones which we have seen. Let me take a number 1331. Now, if a question comes as to whether this number is divisible by 11 or not, one of the things I can do is I can straight away use my traditional method. and find out whether this is divisible by 11 or not. Yes, this number is divisible by 11. However, there is also a rule. This is fine insofar as, you know, the number of digits is limited. However, what happens if the number of digits is not limited? Suppose you have a large number of digits. Let's say, for example, if I had 61809. I mean, I can calculate it this way also, but then what happens if the number is even bigger? The problem comes in if the number is huge. So the rule says, just listen to the rule, that if the difference between the one sum of digits at odd places from right and sum of digits at even places from right is zero or number divisible by 11 then that number is also divisible by 11 easier said than done let us see so what it says is that you have to find out the difference between A and B. Now what is A? Sum of digits at odd place from the right. So I need to move from the right to the left. Which are the odd digits that I have here? The odd digits that I have here are 9 which is at 1. Right? Then 8 and 6. These are the digits at odd places. So I need to do a sum of these. 9 plus 8 plus 6. This gives me 23 sum of digits at even places. Now even is 1, so second one is the even one, okay, and fourth one is the even one, 0 plus 1. What does it say? If the difference between these two numbers, 23 and 1, what is the difference between these two numbers? It is 22. Is either 0, is it 0? No. Or a number divisible by 11. Is 22 divisible by 11? Yes, it gives me an answer of 2 then that number is also divisible by 11. According to this theorem, 61A09 should actually be divisible by 11. Should we just see this, whether this is true or not? Okay, let's try 61A09. So 0, you can't divide 6 by 11, then you have to apply it 5 times, which gives you 55. Okay, 11, 5 times 11 is 55, you get 6, 8, Again, 6 times, 66, 2, 0, so 1 times, 11, you get 9, and 9, and 9, and you get 99. Oh, the remainder is 0, which means that this number is exactly divisible by 9, and therefore the theorem that we did holds good. Let's try this for 1, 3, 3, let me take it 2 here. So I move from left, right to left, 2 and 3 are the odd numbers, so 2 plus 3, 3 and 1 are the even, so 3 plus 1. What is the difference between these two numbers? 1, is it 0? No. Is it divisible by 11? No. Therefore, 1332 itself should 
not be divisible by 11 if the theorem were to hold good. This is actually true. So the remainder comes in, which means that this number is not divisible by 11. This is a bit complicated insofar as the others were concerned vis a vis, but one really needs to bear in mind there are three simple steps that you need to take. What are these steps? You move from right to left, whichever is the number at the odd places you do a total of that, whichever is the number of even places you do a total of that, which is this and this, take the difference of that, if that difference is equal to 0 or it's divisible by 11, then this number itself should also be divisible by 11.